my guys this is Jolt in today's video we are going to check out the Karcher K5 pressure washer together with the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro 2.0 I'm just going to walk around the device and I will leave some information on the screen so I'm not going to talk about it and we are going to check out how is it behaving the foamer with the 1.1 and the 1.25 orifice Let's kick it. Just like at all the other videos where we are going to check out different pressure washers, I'm going to use the Dunking Biscuit Velvet. I will add 20 milliliters of the velvet to 900 milliliters of hot water. Now let's have a look at it with the 1.25 uh, orifice.
Okay, boys and girls, that was the uh, Karcher K5. I liked the water pressure. It's stronger than the K3, but of course it's more expensive than the K3 and it's supposed to be better than the K3. I liked the length of the hose pipe. I didn't have to move the device to be able to go around the car, unlike with the K3, which I need to um, keep moving left and right. Other than that, um, the MJJC uh, Foam Canon Pro 2.0 was working beautifully with it, with the 1.1 and the 1.25 orifice, and the foam was very nice. I'm not going to say if I recommend it or I don't recommend it. You've seen the video, you decide if you like the device itself. Um, nowadays, I read a few comments about these new Karcher K5 models that after a year, year and a half, two years, um, they um, die on the users. Not all, of course, but I've seen a number of complaints, which is, well, for me, it's a bit alarming. But again, I'm pretty sure I can find similar with any brand. And that's it. That was it about the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you are not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.